for this problem, we need to solve this equation. After we solve this equation, we'll show the solution as a graph on a real number line, and we'll also identify if this is a contradiction, an identity, or a conditional equation. To start solving this equation, we need to first get rid of the parentheses. We need to do that by distributing this negative sign through the parentheses here. So we'll have 5x minus x plus 2 equals 6 plus 2x. Now we're successful in getting rid of the parentheses. Now we'll combine like terms on the left side of the equal sign here. So 5x minus x is 4x plus 2 equals 6 plus 2x. So we combine like terms. Now we need to get the x's on the same side of the equation and the constants on the same side of the equation. So we need to subtract 2 from both sides. I'll have 4x plus 2 minus 2 equals 6 plus 2x minus 2. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. That'll leave us with 4x is equal to 4 plus 2x. Now let's get the variables together. We'll subtract 2x from both sides. We'll have 4x minus 2x equals 4 plus 2x minus 2x. Combine these like terms. We'll have 2x is equal to 4. And lastly, we'll isolate this variable completely by dividing both sides by 2. So I'm going to divide the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. And we'll end up with x is equal to 2. So our solution is x equals 2. Another way to write this solution is to use set notation. And the solution set would be just 2. Our solution for this equation was x equals 2. We need to graph this solution on the real number line. To do this, all we do is put a point or a dot for the number 2 on the number line. Now this type of equation, when we get one solution like this, is also called a conditional equation. So this equation was true only on the condition that x is equal to 2. That is why this is called a conditional equation.